So how do you name your limited liability company, your LLC? I'm gonna give you a tool to help you name your LLC quickly and easily for free. Then I'm gonna give you some rules to follow and some things to avoid. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We've helped our clients name thousands of LLCs and some people can come up with a name right off the top of their heads. Others want a head scratch. I don't know, I wanna to talk to such and such first. So I'm gonna show you a surefire method to choose a name quickly and easily. And you can also quickly and easily hit the like button below so that YouTube promotes this video and I'd really appreciate it. You can also click the subscribe button and notification bell so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. Now there are two categories of company names that come to mind. One is where the name really doesn't matter, such as using a company to own rental property. We talk to most of our real estate investor clients about putting each property into a separate LLC so that a lawsuit on one property doesn't create the domino effect. In this case, we simply have the name of the LLC as the address of the property, the 123 Main Street LLC, for example. I just thought of an example of one guy who was setting up multiple LLCs for rental properties and they head scratched and worried and pondered. This went on for a couple of months finally. The guy rear-ended somebody in their car. I mean, he just smashed into the back of the guy on the highway. That car hit another car, which hit another car, and which hit another car. And I think there were seven cars all together. And this guy was sued for way more than his insurance would cover. So the guy went months without putting his properties into LLCs because of the names. The guy was at fault in the car wreck, and he was a wealthy real estate investor. So though there are many other people in the car accident, he was the one with a $110,000 BMW 750 with all the options. So guess who they sued? The rich guy, right? Then all of a sudden he was panicked about getting the LLCs formed. Now there were some other strategies we could employ to protect the properties, but they would have to defend these strategies in court rather than having the protection automatically because they should have been in separate LLCs. I mean, the guy could have protected everything, but he dilly-dallied too long on picking the company name. Now for most businesses and real estate holdings for privacy and protection, we don't recommend people use their own names in the name of the LLC. Now, maybe if it's a construction business or a business where using your name makes sense, then okay. Anderson Construction might be perfectly fine if you're Bob Anderson. But for holding real estate or trying to keep your name private, don't use your name on the company. So don't name your company Bob Anderson LLC if you're using it to own real estate. You want more privacy than that, so don't paint a target on your back. So when you use an LLC for protective purposes, to hold your stock market portfolio or to hold business equipment, real estate as we said, don't use your name. See our video called Anonymous LLC, and I think you'll really like some of the ideas that we have on owning your LLC privately. Now, so another mistake that people make is using a one word name, so common names. And if we go to look up the name, it's not available. This is especially true in larger states such as California, Florida, Texas, New York, as well as popular states for LLCs such as Nevada, Delaware, Wyoming, and so on. So common words such as Cornerstone, Cornerstone LLC, or in Texas, just about anything with the word Lone Star is taken, Lone Star Enterprises, you can forget it in Texas, in California, Golden State, with just about any other word or common word like enterprises or ventures is gone. Or initials are often taken, ABC Enterprises, J&J &J Holdings, for example. So what we recommend for name availability purposes is having more than one word unless it's a totally made up word, such as Power Wave or Vinstar or Cap Max. So here we go. Here's a surefire way to come up with a name for your company. See down below in the description where if I remember, I'll write in all these words so you can use them to pick a name for your LLC. And since we're in the business of setting up LLCs, our company was established in 1906. We have attorneys on our staff. If you want your LLC set up right, so you're more likely for it to protect you from lawsuits when you need it, feel free to call us to have us set up your LLC the right way with your articles, a proper operating agreement, membership certificates, so everything that you need, go ahead and see our number and website below. So with this list, you'll pick a first word such as Metro. Then you choose a word from the second column, such as endeavors. Then you pick your identifier that notifies the world that it's an LLC and not another type of business entity. So you end up with Metro Endeavors LLC or Capstone Enterprises Limited Liability Company, Northern Ventures LLC, etc. So you can feel free to use this list and it will give you at least 626 different name choices. Or you can choose your own first word, then add one of our second words and the name choices are practically infinite. 
Now keep in mind, if you have a name such as Green Tree Executive LLC in California, you can also set up another Green Tree Executive LLC in North Carolina, for example. So name availability is state by state. So you can have a company with the exact same name, but it's in a different state and the name may be available. So using our name selector tool should help you pick a name and pick one rapidly. Now here are some other very important things to consider. Now many people are not too creative and they come up with a phrase or a word they like such as Blue Sky. So it's like Blue Sky Enterprises LLC. Then they call us down the line and they want Blue Sky Enterprises LLC 2. Then Blue Sky Enterprises LLC 3. So they have multiple LLCs with Blue Sky Enterprises in the name. But really think about it. If you want anonymity, why flag the world that all of these companies are linked to each other. Otherwise, you're giving a pretty good clue that all of these LLCs are owned by the same guy, right? Hey, that's not a whole lot of thought that goes into that to figure that out, right? Anybody would draw that same conclusion, wouldn't you? So for anonymity, you want to refrain from using a naming pattern where people can easily recognize that the LLCs are all tied to each other. Like my friend who insisted on his last name in every company, the building inspector found some problems in one building, then all of a sudden the same inspector Spectre is slapping all kinds of violation orders on all the other properties. But it's more than that. When you're talking with your bookkeeper or CPA, they say Blue Sky. Well, which Blue Sky? Blue Sky 1, Blue Sky 4, which one? So when talking to people, having the names too similar will confuse people as to which one you're referring to. And not only will it confuse them, but it'll confuse you too. And I'm talking from experience, I've done it, and believe me, I'll never do it again because all of this confusion it created. So in naming your LLC, use distinct and different names. Again, if the LLC owns real estate, I suggest naming the company the street address of the property. So what we do for most clients is first we set up a land trust that owns the property. That gives an additional layer of privacy of ownership. It also makes it easier to sell the property without changing the title because you can just assign the beneficial interest to your new buyer without paying the bucket of blood fees to the county when you sell a property. We use the same convention here, 123 Main Street Trust, then we set up an LLC and we have the LLC own the land trust. Typically speaking, we make the LLC the beneficiary of the land trust, 123 Main Street LLC, for example. So the land trust provides privacy of ownership and ease of transferability and can save you a ton of money in property transfer fees. And then the LLC provides lawsuit protection and asset protection. Now, if you already own a property, it's quite easy. You just call us up and have us name the LLC the address of the property. But if you're closing on a new property, you simply buy it because many lenders want you to close in your own name. But there are lenders that will let you close in your LLC or a land trust name too, so that's fine. But for those lenders or title insurance companies that insist you close in your own name, right after closing, you put the property into a land trust, 456 Maple Street Trust. You then make the beneficiary of that land trust an LLC, the 456 Maple Street LLC. So why not just put it straight into the LLC? If you own the property in your own name, the bank could invoke the due on sale clause if you do that. But putting it into a land trust first with you as the beneficiary, the Garn St. Germain Depository Institutions Act of 1982 says the lender can't call the loan due. Though I know this to be correct, just covering my butt here, I have to say talk to a lawyer first. We do have lawyers on our staff here at our company you can call and speak with right now if it's during business hours or fill out a free consultation form on our website to set up a land trust and LLCs if you want to. Now, if I buy properties in different states, I'd also put GA for Georgia, FL for Florida, NV for Nevada. So 456 Maple Street, GA, LLC. That way I know it's my Georgia LLC, so I know which state we're talking about. So that way, if you have different properties in different states and you have several LLCs, it's easy to remember the state where that property is located. In fact, back in the early 2000s, I had over 50 properties and construction projects going on at the same time in different states, such as Washington State, California, Michigan, Florida, and it's hard to keep track of everything. So using the addresses and the state abbreviations helps you put each property into the proper mental slot and it makes it easier to communicate with others such as your CPA, contractors, tenants, etc. And then you have one central LLC that doesn't own any property and that LLC collects all the rents from all your other properties and that way you keep everything simple, you keep your accounting all in one bucket. So what about when you buy properties but you don't know where yet? 
Maybe you know the state, maybe you know the area, but you don't have the address yet because you haven't gotten the offer accepted. So you want a couple of LLCs sitting around that you can use to make offers so you have the legal protection or that you can use as soon as the property closes, you can put it right into the land trust and have the land trust waiting in the wings so it can be the beneficiary of the land trust. See our video on land trust for owning real estate. We have another video on LLCs for real estate. Now some states take a while to form an LLC like California, maybe a few weeks. Rush filings may be a bit faster but in Wyoming, we can set up an LLC for you in a few minutes. But I wouldn't make the offer in an LLC that's named after the address of the property. It would certainly look suspicious to the seller. Plus, it shows that you've already made too much of a commitment by forming a company with that address in the name. So it might hurt your negotiating power because they may think you're just too committed to walk away. So don't name the LLC the address of the property before the seller actually accepts your offer. So I would come up with a name that might tell you something about the city or the area, but not the address. Say you plan to invest in South Miami, you might call it Prime Properties of South Miami LLC, for example. Now it's easy to call us and have us change the name of your LLC later. So you can use a generic name until you actually have the property all wrapped up. We can get an employer identification number or EIN for you so you can open a bank account. And then once you know the property is closing, we can easily amend the name to 1224 East Palm Miami LLC, for example. Even if you change the name of the company, you keep the same EIN. So just notify the IRS of the name change on your next tax file. So just like if you change your own name, like when my wife and I got married, she took my last name, but kept her original social security number because she's still the same person, just with a different name. Change the company name and the EIN stays the same because it's still the same company, it just has a different name. So that way, you can get your company and bank account all set up, your wheels on the ground, you're ready to rumble as soon as you put the property into the company. And that's another beauty of using a land trust to own the property. That's because you don't have to change the title of the property when you change the name of the LLC. And that's because the LLC doesn't own the property. The land trust slash trustee owns the property and the LLC is simply the beneficiary of the land trust and the beneficiaries of land trust are generally not in the public records. Now, if you don't want to notify the IRS and the bank of the name change, that's fine too. We can simply apply for the EIN after changing the LLC name and you can open up the bank account at that time. Now here are a few other rules to keep in mind. First, the name of your company needs to be available. Even if it's not exactly the same, if the state feels that it could be confused with another company, they'll want you to come up with something definitive. If there's already a Jackson Industry and you chose Jackson Industries, for example, the examiner might reject it. So be as unique as possible. Now there are certain restricted words that require a license, such as bank, insurance, university or CPA. Other than that, naming your company is pretty flexible. You get to choose. So anyway, I hope this helps. Feel free to use our company naming tool below. I like to use the address of the LLC for owning real estate. I'd stay away from using your own personal name when naming a company to own real estate. To increase the odds of your name being available, use more than one word unless you use a totally made up word like Microsoft, Google, Walmart, Costco, Exxon. Those are all just made up words out of the clear blue sky that somebody made. And you can do the same. So if you want to come up with a brand name for a business, the sky's the limit. So I hope this gives you some good value and insight and direction to naming your company. Please click like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Thanks for watching. This is the Business Guy.